Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back. So today I got another tutorial to share with you and I'm going to be showing you how to edit your videos for Instagram stories. Now, just real quick, if you're not already on Instagram stories, you definitely should be. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Adobe Premiere Pro, but I'm also collaborating with Andrew over on his YouTube channel. He's going to show you how to do this in Final Cut Pro because you know, not everybody uses the same editing software. Not only that, he has another video on how to get a lot more views on your Instagram stories. I've used the technique, it works every single time, so Andrew, thank you. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. I'll have those two videos linked down in the description, probably at the end of this video and probably like right up there. But yeah, let's get right into this video. So most of us are used to shooting our videos in landscape mode, just like this. But Instagram stories are viewed in portrait mode, just like that. You're not gonna be, you know, turning your phone around or anything. You wanna look at your video on Instagram stories just like this. So what you gotta do is shoot with your camera just like that. Now you're not limited to just this type of camera. You can use a GoPro, a smartphone, you can use any sort of camera, but you wanna shoot in this way. Now you don't necessarily need to shoot in portrait mode. You could shoot in landscape mode and still get the same kind of effect, but you'll get much better detail if you do shoot in portrait mode. So now that that's out of the way, let's get on to the editing. All right, so here we go. I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro, and um, I got two clips here. One clip was shot vertically, and the other shot was for my drone, so that's shot in landscape. What I'm gonna do is just click in this empty space and go to New Item and then Sequence. And I'm gonna use this little preset here. It's under Digital SLR 1080p, uh, Digital uh, DSLR 1080p, 30 frames a second. I'm gonna go to Settings, and only thing I'm gonna change here is I'm gonna reverse these two numbers. So it's gonna be 1080 by 1920. So it's the reverse of you know 1080p. So instead of 1920 by 1080, it's gonna be 1080 by 1920. So 1080 across, 1920 vertically, and then just click OK. So that's gonna create a new sequence. So I'm gonna bring this vertical video onto the timeline and just click X here. And you'll notice that it's rotated here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this file down in the timeline. I'm gonna to go to motion, and I'm gonna rotate this to negative 90 so that it fits. So now, got a new trick, don't mind the form. So now the video is in there. Uh, let me scale out so you get an idea that it's using the full frame. And basically that's all there is to it, is just creating that preset. Now what you could do is, let me go back to the sequence setting, and what you can do is, do the same exact thing, 1080 by 1920. And then what you can do is save this preset so you don't need to do this every single time. So click save, and then you could do like Instagram story and just save it, click okay. And now it should populate here, Instagram story, perfect. And then you can just click that and it'll create a new sequence. And then you can bring that file in and click X and then click the file and then just rotate it. So you don't need to do that whole 1080p by 1920. Now let me just show you what happens if you stick a landscape video into the timeline. So this was shot, I believe in 1080p. So you could see that, you know, it's pretty much cut off. So the, the only thing we could really do is scale it in until the black bars are gone. And of course, if you wanted to, you could technically do this, but I think it's a better viewing experience when you have it you know, no black showing or anything like that. So about 180 is scaled all the way in and and that's it. So now once you're happy with your edit, uh, just remember that you can only do 10 seconds um, for Instagram stories. So if you go to the 10 second mark, let's just go to 10 seconds here. You would bring this bar, the render bar to the 10 second mark and then you're ready to export. So I'm gonna do uh, control M and that's gonna take us to the export settings. If you don't know, uh, if you're on Mac, I don't know what that is, you could go to file and then export and then media. And then what we wanna do here is, you know, make sure that it's still 1080 by 1920. We're gonna go down and we're gonna uncheck profile and uncheck level. And I'm gonna make the profile baseline. I did some tests with the main profile and I had some errors where Instagram wasn't allowing me to upload these videos. So I found out that using baseline and you could either do 4.0 or 4.1, I believe those both work. Um, and then I try to keep the bit rate sort of around this, this area. So I'm gonna actually do eight and then 10. And then just choose my location 
to save this. So I'm gonna save it right here. Instagram story example save export should be only a few seconds and then we'll check that out so now here's what it looks like got a new trick don't mind the form and you see it only goes on for 10 seconds now what you would do is just email that file to yourself or you can save it to your phone by plugging into your computer and then just uploading it directly to Instagram. All right guys, so that is pretty much it. Not too complicated, pretty simple. And I just wanna give you guys some ideas real quick. Maybe you are a daily vlogger and you go around shooting in landscape mode all day. I think you need to put in a little bit extra work and shoot content specifically for Instagram stories. So shooting in portrait mode. And um, yes, it's a little bit of extra work, but I think at the end of the day, you're gonna have much better content to share on your Instagram stories. So guys, remember, I did a collaboration with Andrew. Make sure you check out his video and definitely, definitely check out the video he did on getting more Instagram story views. It definitely works. It works for me and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work for you guys. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys found this helpful. Drop a like. I definitely appreciate it. Any other comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll check you out in my next video. Bye.